Welcome. My name is Thomas Mitchell. I'm an Azure content author at Cloud Academy, and I have over 25 years of deep IT experience, several of those with cloud technologies. In this demonstration, we're going to create an Azure cache for Redis on Azure. To do so, I've logged into my Azure portal, as you can see on your screen. To create our Azure cache for Redis, I browse over to the left pane and click Create a Resource. From here, I can browse to Databases, and then in the list of Featured Services, I can scroll down to Redis Cache and select it. I need to provide a globally unique name for my Redis Cache. Now, basically what that means is the name that I give my cache needs to be unique across the entire Azure landscape. So I'll call it my Redis 9878. The green checkbox tells me that my name is valid. Then of course I need to select a subscription. So I'll select the Microsoft Azure sponsorship subscription that I have. And then I need to specify a resource group. I don't have an existing resource group, so I'll create a new one. And I'll just call it Redis and okay it. I typically deploy my resources in the East region. So I'll go East US. And for this demonstration, I'm going to select the basic pricing tier. Now, if I click on view full pricing details, I can see all of the different options that are available to me for my Redis cash pricing. If we scroll back up here, we can see premium. We scroll down, we see the standard. And then at the bottom, we can see our basic tiers. I'm using the C0 basic tier. You can see further down here that some features or options, I should say, are not available because I'm not using a premium tier. So now what I'll do is I'll create my cache. And this can sometimes take a few minutes to complete. We can see up here we get the deployment and progress status. And what I'll do is I'll switch over to my resource group here. And if I select my cache here, we can see that the status is creating. This status will change to running once it's completed. We'll refresh it here. And we can see it's still creating. And while we're waiting for this to create, what I'm going to do is switch over to my dashboard and create a new one for my Redis cache lab here. And then I'll switch back to my resource group and then I'll pin my Redis to my dashboard here. And if we select my cache, we can see it's still creating. And let's give it one more refresh. So we can see now that our cache is in the running state. So in the next demonstration, we're going to retrieve our access keys and connect a Python app to our cache. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to view the complete course, visit cloudacademy.com.